Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's Brood. Another evening in the Bloom home. Papa is tired after his day at the office, and he sprawled out on the sofa, as Mama says. Jake. Mm, what do you want? It's pretty near 8 o'clock. Yeah, can I help with what time it is? What, Papa? You know they're going out? Uh, do we have to go out? Sunday, when the Shapiro's called up, I asked you if you wanted to go there tonight, and you said yes. But did I know I was going to be tired tonight? What made you tired? What? All day long, I work hard, and then when I come home, he asks me what makes me tired. <laughs> if you did something all day long, you'd be tired, too. Don't you think I did something all day? You think I sat in the parlor all day long eating ice cream? Since Sarah got engaged, I'm so busy, I don't know the ground from a hole in my head. Yeah. What did you do? Jake, will you please wash your face? We got to go. It's What's getting... your hurry? We don't have to get there while they're eating. They are calling on the Shapiro's, not the Esther's. The Astors may eat dinner at 8 o'clock, but the Shapiro's, they don't have dinner, they have supper, and they eat it at 6. All right, I'll go. What's the use of arguing if you've made up your mind? <laughs> then why don't you go, then? First, tell me, Mama, what you did today. Well, in the morning, I didn't do anything. I'll admit it. All I did was I cooked the breakfast and washed the dishes, made the bed, straightened up the house, and I put up 12 bottles of peach preserves from a new receipt of Mrs. Fink's. Jake, you take six pounds of sugar. All right, you, all right. you don't have to tell me, Mama. I'm not going to put up any pictures. Well, that was all I did in the morning, except answer the phone maybe two million times. Yeah? Who called out? Who didn't? Everybody's heard about Sally being engaged. And the questions they ask me, I wouldn't know the answer to some of them if I was Sidney's mother, his banker, his doctor, and his insurance agent, all in one. What did you answer them? I made up answers. Why did you do that? Jake, if he's going to be my son-in-law, you don't think I want him to find out there's something about Sydney I don't know. So when they ask me something, I figured out what they'd like to have me answer, and that's what I told them. <laughs> I'll bet you did. In a case like this, I'm allowed to brag a little. I made him a little taller, a little bit better looking, a little extra everything. Did they ask you about his business? <laughs> that's the first question they asked. I'll bet you told them plenty. Why shouldn't I? Remember Mrs. Yankovic? When her daughter Maybelle got herself engaged... <laughs> I asked Mrs. Yankovic what Maybell's financier did. Hey, financier don't sound right to me. Are you starting? Don't I get enough from that, Sarah? All right, all right, Mama. Tell me what happened. I'm telling you. Then go ahead. Then don't stop me. You're stopping yourself. No, I forgot what I was talking about. I never knew what you were talking about. Ah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about Mrs. Yankovic. I was telling you that when her daughter Maybell got engaged, I asked her what her finan intended son-in-law did, and she said he was in the lumber business. No, wasn't he? Lumber business, Jake. He sold matches. Well, that's a business, too. <laughs> to hear you talk. You think there was only one business, the knee pants business. All other business to you are invitations. Invitations? Imitations, you mean. And besides, I'm a uniform manufacturer. You are a uniform manufacturer? Mm -hmm. Sydney's a uniform manufacturer. Sydney runs the business. I am the manufacturer. How do you figure that out? Who is in the streetcar business, the company or the motorman? What do I care about motorman? Are we going to the Shapiro's? That's what I want to know. Meet me halfway. Let's not go. I tell you, Mama, I'm tired, mm -hmm, tired. Mm -hmm. Now I remember. I was telling you what I did today. After lunch, a man came in, and he tried to sell me a dishwashing machine. Did you buy it? What do I need with dishwashing machines? 
Besides, we got plenty machines around here now. Ice making machines, vacuum cleaners, post making machines, electric permeators. Percolators, ma. If Call I it know anything that. you please, it's still a coffee pot. I tell you, housekeeping is a cinch today, Jake. All you do is press buttons. Mm, I wish there was a button I could press so I didn't have to go out tonight. The one evening I'm home that Sydney isn't here, I've got to waste it going to the Shapiro's. Jake, don't you like Sydney? Mama, Sydney is very aggravating. He is always right. If he was wrong all the time, I could stand him. If he was right part of the time and wrong rest of the time, I could still stand him. But when a person is right all the time, it's too much. What do you want Sidney to do? I don't want him to do anything. The only thing is, tonight, that Sidney is not here, I hate to go out. Well, if you don't really want to go out, I'll call up the Shapiros and tell them we won't come over. Uh, make some kind of an excuse. Say you don't feel well. Say you don't feel well. No, 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 Mama. You be sick this time. I be sick last time. All right, I'll call them. What's the telephone number? It's something with a seven in it. Hmm. Main 2442. Two. No seven. Is there a seven in main 2442? Two, four, four, two? Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> My cousin Milton's got a seven in yeah, it. Yeah, that's about all your cousin Milton has got, a seven. Did he ask you for something? Would I give it to him if he asked me? Wait till he asks you? Wait till I give it to him. Oh, no, no, please, Becky, call up the Shapiros. Call up the Shapiros. Tell me again the number. All I remember is the seven. Main 2442. Two. No seven, Jake? Not even my six. All right, dial me up the number. Maybe it'll be much less trouble to go over now, there. Now, call them, Jake. Dial me down the number. All right, Mama, give it to me. Uh, and, uh, main, two, four, four, two. All right, Mama, here it is. Hello? Jake, the intensive. Mama, give them a minute. Hello? Oh, hello, Ida. <laughs> Ida, you'll excuse me if you don't come over tonight. I got a slight headache and I'm taking an aspirin. Aspirin, Becky. Who's taking this medicine, you or me? Excuse me, Ida. Yeah. Uh, how's your family? You don't say. In what hospital? When did it happen? How many? Six. Well, ain't that nice? <laughs> yeah, Ida, yeah. Well, goodbye. No, 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 what happened? Who had babies? Who's talking about babies. Ida's dog had pops. Hmm. You told them we weren't coming. Don't forget, Jake, this time I was six. Next time it's your turn. What you doing? Doing? <laughs> I'm taking off my shoes. Put on your slippers. Mama, I don't like my slippers. They're too tight, too. Why did you throw away my carpet slippers? Twelve years I had them. Sarah didn't like them. Sarah didn't have to wear them. Who's got the bum feet, Sarah or me? <sighs> now that we're staying home, what do you want to do? Um, let's play two-handed pinnacle. Would you rather play Rami? Mm, all right, Rami, then. Get the cards. I'll take off my collar. Right. Uh, oh. <laughs> Here you are. Uh, you deal. I'm tired, but no cheating, Mama. Jake, let's make vile deduces. Oh, Mama, I don't like the deduces, vile. It mixes me up. It's more exciting with the deduces, vile. All right, all right. Let's make all the cards, vile. All right, have it your way. <laughs> ah, Mama, this is what I call a pleasure. To stay home for one evening. Say so you was home a couple of evenings last week. Yeah, 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 but this is different. Tonight, I'm really enjoying myself. I got my shoes off, I got my collar off, and nobody tells me different. Mama, I tell you, this is a pleasure. Pick up your hand. Hmm, I thought so. Becky, you're a bum dealer. Deal again. Jake, I got a good hand. Deal again, Mama. Can't I have a little pleasure? I got three seven. Why couldn't we play pinochle? All right, we'll play pinochle. <laughs> That's better. Now you're talking. Jake, did you hear something? Yeah, sounded like a dog. Did somebody come in? It's only me and Sydney, Mom. Jake, hurry up, put on your collar and your shoes, Sally and Sydney are here. I knew it, I knew it, just when I get comfortable in comes Sydney. Hurry up, Jake, hurry up. My collar I'll put on, but why do I have to put my shoes on? Jake. Hello, folks. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sydney, how are you? Papa, look, Sydney is here. Don't I see him? What are you doing, putting on your shoes? I am tying my shoelace. We are going out. Going out? Sure. Ain't we going to the Shapiro? But we just... Call them and tell them they'll be over in five minutes. My headache is all better. Jake, I had the headache. All right, your headache is better. Tell them they are coming over. What's the number? Main 2442, two, uh, without a seven. I'll get the number for you. Say, folks, we're not driving you out of the house, are we? Driving? Driving us out of the house? <laughs> no, Sydney. How can you talk like that? Hello. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Mr. Shapiro in. Oh, she's gone out. She's gone out. Any message? Hold the wire. Any message, Ma? Uh, no message, no. Well, never mind. Goodbye. Uh-huh. They're stuck. Uh, sit down, Sydney. Sit down. Well, first come with me, Sydney. I want to show you something that just came in today. Okay. We'll be right back, Yes, Ma. darling. Oh, Sydney. 
Eric, we should have gone to disappear. He won't hurt you to stay home now that Sidney's here. I like to stay home, Mama. If only I could be comfortable. What's the matter? Ain't you comfortable? How can I be comfortable? My collar is too tight. My shoes hurt. Besides, Sidney is here now. From now on, we're going to hear nothing else but uniforms. If Sally can stand him, you can stand him. He don't talk to Sally about uniforms. How do you know what he talks to her about? I don't object to uniforms, but I had it all day long. And I'll have it all day tomorrow. Shh, coming back. You're yeah, telling me. <laughs> Sit down, Sidney. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I hope you didn't stay home on our account. Well, to tell you the truth, we didn't. No. Oh, I don't mind saying that I worked pretty hard today. I certainly envy you, Pop, all day long with nothing to do. I'd like to be able to sit all afternoon and play Pinochle. He's playing Pinochle? <laughs> yeah, sure. A couple of customers came in about one o'clock, and Pop sat down, and they played Pinochle until after five. Uh -huh. How'd you come out, Pop? Never mind how I came out. I didn't know you played Pinochle in the office. <laughs> well, once in a lifetime, maybe. Well, how'd you come out? All right, I lost three dollars. Only three bucks? Maybe it was four. Well, you can afford it. I know you won twice last week. Twice, <laughs> twice last week. Eh? Sure, I bet he was 18 bucks to the good Monday. No wonder you're so tired every night. Papa. Why did the Shapiros have to go out just tonight? What's the difference? After a man plays pinochle hard all day long, he should stay home and rest in the evening. Sidney, after you are married, you will know what you have done to me tonight. What do you mean? After you are married, you will find out there are certain things about business that a woman doesn't understand. Oh, I get it. Trade secrets. That's a new name for pinochle. Uh, Sidney, you don't play pinochle, do you? I should say Sidney doesn't. No. Still, it would be very nice if he uh, played pinochle as well as he shoots craps. Shoots craps? <laughs> Can Sidney shoot craps? <laughs> Sam was telling me that at half past five in the morning, you were $160 to the good. What night was this? Uh, the night he was supposed to be in Philadelphia. Stayed up and shot craps until 5.30. Oh, that's nothing for Sidney. Why, only last week he played till 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, this is all news to me. Oh, I'm surprised Sidney didn't tell you how much fun he had. He carefully left that out. I think I'd better be getting home. Uh, what's the matter? Another cap game tonight? No, I'm going straight to bed. I'm awfully tired. Uh, goodbye. See you tomorrow, Sally. Goodbye, Sidney. Where are you going, Sally? I'm going in and lie down. <laughs> Uh, Mama, hmm. ain't it too bad Sidney got tired and had to go home? Jay, you chased him home. Who, me? I chased him? <laughs> Back here. Deal the cards. You deal. It's your turn. No, no, you deal. I'm busy. What you going to do? What? <laughs> I'm going to take off my collar and my shoes. Uh -huh. 